to right? you. Right? You're parked illegally, okay, why and I'm trying is to understand. You? Because if I park on the street on the sidewalk, I get a ticket. You're parked on the sidewalk illegally. You need to be parked on a public street, not on a sidewalk that we pay for. You need to be parked on a public street. You work for, um, do you work for the city? No, I you pay work? you. I pay you. No, you don't pay me. I, I do pay you Second. with taxes. Could you call your supervisor? Call 911. Could you call your supervisor? Call 911. And I can't get your badge number? No, you cannot. Can I get your name and badge no, you number? No, you cannot. So I can't have your name and badge number? No, you cannot. Why is that? Call 911. It's in your policy to identify Listen, yourself. Call 911 if you need it. If you need service, I'll help you with service. If not, yeah, go I, away. I, I do need service. Okay, what service you need? The services is you're parked illegally. That's my service. I need you to park on the I'm street. Call for supervisor. Thank you. And you know why I'm calling for a supervisor? To save you. Save to me? To save you. So is that a threat? No, that's a promise. Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Hold Them Accountable Philadelphia. If you have not subscribed to his YouTube channel, please make sure you go and do so. The Philadelphia Police Department. What more can we say? You guys know how I like to do it. Commentary sometimes is needed in certain videos. And then there are videos that there is no commentary needed. The video actually speaks for itself. In this video, there is no commentary needed. What I want to highlight is how police officers act towards the citizens. It's not like it's something that we don't already know, but the Philadelphia Police Department and an officer who works for the Philadelphia Police Department are perfect examples. Now, I can't tell you the name of this officer because he refused. He absolutely refused to give his name and badge number. And if you think that's bad, just wait until the lieutenant shows up on scene. I want you to pay close attention to this video and what's being said. You're going to hear a threat inside of this video from the police officer to the citizen. First, he states, I'm going to call my supervisor for your good. The citizen then presents the question, is that a threat? He says, no, it's a promise. But while he's on the phone, listen to what he says. Hurry and get down here because if you don't, I'm going to be in internal affairs, which simply means I'm going to do something to this guy and I'm going to be in internal affairs for what I do to this guy. Horrible police officer. This guy should be fired and locked up for that threat. Let's check out this video. Why are you sitting on this curb illegal? Hey, what's going on? What's up? What are we working on? What? I said, what are we working on? I take my hands out my pocket so you don't think I'm doing anything. Okay, so what, we, what we working on? What are we working on? Okay, what are we working on? No, what are we working on? Keep on moving. I'm, I'm, I'm asking a question. I, I'm asking you a question. Can I get your name and badge number? No, you cannot. I can't get your name no, and badge number. No, because my business you mind yours. You are my business. Sir, go. You are my business. Sir, go. Could you please identify yourself? It's in your policy to your identify yourself. Who called you back? Could you call your supervisor? You call, if you call what you call. Could you call your supervisor, please? I'm just here to ask a couple questions. And I'm not asking no questions. Why not? Because I don't have to. You do? No, I don't. You're a police officer. Okay. You, you're here to protect and serve. I you pay your sir? salary. You yes. Sir? Yes, what I do. You need, sir? I need you to ask a couple questions. Okay, what service you need, sir? You're Ill illegally parked. Okay, can you go? You're illegally parked. Sir, can you go? Could you call a supervisor, please? Call 911, ask your supervisor. I don't want to have to go through that. Call Why are you the only one in the 14th district that's sir. giving me a hard time? Sir. I don't know who you be, um, walk up to cops and ask me questions. I'm not the one. The whole city. What? The whole city. Okay, but I'm not the one. I do the whole city. Okay, I'm not the one. I'm not doing anything illegal. Okay, so. You supposed to protect me? Okay. Under the First Amendment? What do you need, sir? Right. You're parked illegally, okay, and I'm trying to understand you? because if I park on the street on the sidewalk, I get a ticket. You're parked on the sidewalk illegally. You need to be parked on a public street, not on a sidewalk that we pay for. You need to be parked on a public street. Do you work for, um, do you work for the city? No, I pay you, you. I pay you. No, you don't pay me. I, I do pay you with taxes. Could you call your supervisor? Call 911. Could you call your supervisor? Call 911. And I can't get your badge number? No, you cannot. Can I get your name and badge number? No, you number? cannot. So I can't have your name and badge number. No, you cannot. Why is that? Call 911. It's in your policy to identify Listen, yourself. Call 911 if you need it. 
If you need service, I'll help you with service. If not, yeah, go away. I, I, I do need service. Okay, what service do you the need? The service says you're parked illegally. That's my service. I need you to park on the I'm street. For Thank you. And you know why I'm calling for a supervisor? To save you. Save to me? Save you. So is that a threat? No, that's a promise. What's what's the promise? What's the promise? Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? I didn't think so. Can you do me a favor? Can you have DC come to this location ASAP? Tell her there's nothing wrong. Hey, I remember what's the location. Wood Law and Chill. You got anything in the car I need to know about? Guns, knives? I, know about? I don't answer questions. Say again? I don't answer questions. Okay, get away from it then. See, this is what we get when we pay these public servants to do work for us. And this is how they treat us. This is how they treat us. They take our money, they on their phones, they don't care about what's going on. Hey, listen, if you guys wanna call, it's okay. You can call 215-686-1400. So can I help you with something? Your supervisor coming, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll file a complaint on you for not identifying yourself, okay, you like in your policy. You okay, I will. No problem. No problem. No problem. I, I done already did a public records request. I got your policy. I got your code of conduct. I got how you guys are supposed to act, and okay, you are not you acting the way you're supposed okay, to act. Why, um, you wait for him. Just can you just back up in my space. I, am, am I am I threatening you? Say again. Am I threatening you? I believe so. You um have your hands in your pocket. I okay, my hands are my hands are my hands are in front okay. of you. Get that light out my face. But you putting it in my face. You putting the light in my face. I'm not the one. You putting the light in my face. I'm telling you sir. You putting the light I'm in my you, face. Sir. Listen. Take a walk. I'm not the guy. I'm waiting for your supervisor. I'm not the guy. I'm waiting for your okay, supervisor. Okay, I'm not the guy. I'm just telling you right now. Listen. I'm not the guy. I'm waiting for your supervisor. I'm just letting you know. I'm not wanting the officer that you could play with. I ain't playing. Okay. And I'm just letting you know. 95, 93. All day long. Okay. All day long. Okay. <laughs> I ain't playing. This ain't this ain't for play. You took a you took a oath to protect the Constitution. And you should be doing it right now. That's what you doing. I look for good police officers, but guess what? I ran across a bad one. I'm trying to be patient as I can, but if you keep on bothering me, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be calling turn affair. Wow, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not breaking the law. I just asked you a couple questions, and you felt some type of way. I do this in every single district. Every single district I do this in. You're the only one who gives me a problem. I, I, All you had to do was talk to me. And that's what I told him. All you had I to do was give me name and badge number, and that was it. You didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do that. So, we'll talk to your supervisor. Is this the supervisor? Is this the supervisor? How you doing today? How you doing today? What you doing, man? Uh, you know, huh? I, I, I came uh, up. Uh, uh, I came up. Uh, asked him a couple questions. Okay. Right. Right. First off, he said, "Do you have any business with me?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "What's the business?" I said, "You're Ill illegally parked. If I park right there, I get a ticket." Right? No. It's called discretion. Huh? It's called discretion. Okay. Now, if you pay attention to what this officer just stated, he said, no, you won't get a ticket. It's called discretion. That doesn't make sense. It's either, yes, I will get a ticket. No, I won't get a ticket. Or there's discretion, 
whether I want to give you a ticket or not. There's no guarantee, no, that you won't get a ticket as he just tried to make it seem. No, the discretion is I have the choice. I can decide whether I'm going to cite you or not cite you. But with that being stated, half of that discretion is yes, half of that is no. It's whatever the officer decides to do. And the point being, if a citizen was there, an officer could decide to give a citizen a ticket for parking on the sidewalk. So the point is, why does this police officer get the right to park on the same sidewalk that we cannot park on? So, so any of these cars can park on the sidewalk. And, and, I, and I'm gonna tell you, right? I do this in all the di all districts. I know. All over the city. Got nothing else going on, uh, right? You just, who? Yeah. Who? That's what you I don't have do, nothing right? else just, going that's on. That's what you got going right, so on, I'm, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this, right? So I don't really don't care. I'm in, I really don't. Okay. It don't matter. Okay. Cool. Just playing, it doesn't. It's not really cool. Not for me. Is the supervisor coming? All right. Probably. Okay. Look at all this with a man with a camera. Not the one. Gee, listen, man, all this man I'm with a camera. Got the so, let me get, so, so let me get you to understand this. Yes, so sir. you park here and uh, the camera's no. here to be visible so that way it can do with all this. No, you listen. don't film these dudes in these stores L selling. Listen, you hold don't on. film hold us on. trying hold to on. prevent. Hold on. Listen. No, no, listen. hear me, hear no. me out. I, you listen. don't film them when they're out here listen. slinging and listen. you know they slinging. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But you'll listen. film us. Listen. That listen. makes sense listen. to you? Listen to what I'm saying. That's your community. Listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, you're going to harass us. This is what I do. All right, G. I go around the city. I know what you do. I go around the city and I and I look for good police officers. That's right. That's what I do. I go around the city looking for good police officers. That's all I do. get a for your neighborhood when these guys is out here doing all kinds of dumb drugs. You won't go into the Chinese stores with that cell phone, I bet you that. Why you, would you would do this, but you won't film them selling drugs. It, it, is that's snitching, right? Is this a problem? Okay. Yeah, it's is not this, a problem. We're okay. just telling so, you that so you why, can use that so, energy so to why? actually do something. But, but, he's saying. but I am doing just, something. You're not. What you doing? It's, it's a man out here with a camera, right. and you got a quarter million dollars out here with a man with a camera doing a constitutionally protected act that everybody out here protected on, that swore. Right, stop, stop, stop. Right, stop. I don't even know. I don't even think you know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. What's the first line of the air? You got all. What's the, first line what do, yeah, What's the first line yeah, of you going to do, man? What's the first line of you How you doing today, uh, Sarge? How you doing? Can I get your name and badge number? My name is Lieutenant Frisco. My badge number is 419. Would you like to conduct an on-camera interview with me? Listen. Oh, oh, oh. would you like to conduct an on-camera sure. interview? Okay, then I suggest you contact the Philadelphia Police Department Public Affairs oh, no, no, no. Office. Oh, no, I don't, oh, I don't, oh. want, I don't want to interview. Okay. No, no, I don't want to interview. Okay. This then is in all, that case, we'll so, finish. So, so okay. this, this is all I wanted. Okay. This is all I was saying, right? This is all I was saying. I came up, I look for good police officers, right? I look for good police officers. Obviously, there's none here. Obviously, there's none here. He doesn't want to identify himself. You're a tyrant. He's a tyrant. Like, come on. Quarter million dollars out here for a man with a camera. Quarter million dollars with a man with a camera. Ain't that something? This is why you always record the police. It's going to take more of us. It's going to take all of us to capture these moments on camera and start displaying it to the entire nation to show, hey, we are not putting up with this anymore. Always record the police. Always know your rights. If you don't know your rights, I want to help you. Down below is a link to my free ebook. You can also click the link above my head. Make sure you download it. It's going to help you to know what you can and cannot do and what police can and cannot do when you encounter them. Make sure you know your rights. Don't encounter super tyrants as we saw in this video without knowing your rights. Make sure you do so. With that being said, we the People University signing off.